Hello everyone, I'm Jeffrey Turner, aka Mega Jetty One, and you can bet on that. And we're going to take a look at a thing on Screen Rant about Harry Potter and Marvel. Alrighty, here we go. Harry Potter is technically part of the Marvel Universe. Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, and Hermione Granger are technically part of the Marvel Comics Universe as they are made as they made a surprise cameo, apparently. And I do like this shot here of the three of them in their youth right in front of the Mar Marvel logo there. Now, uh, let's scroll down here. The Harry Potter series has captured the hearts and attention of an entire generation, myself included, as the books and subsequent film adaptations have become modern classics. The characters are so popular that they made a secret cameo in the Marvel Universe as Harry, Ron, and Hermione appeared in the pages of Excalibur. For those of you who don't know, Excalibur is a uh, British team of mutants, kind of an offshoot of the X-Men, apparently. Um, Shadowcat, a.k.a. Kitty Pride, who's known for her ghost-like phasing through solid walls ability, and Nightcrawler, and I think on occasion Colossus. The three of them kind of were... Uh, three of the main prominent players within the uh, team Excalibur. And I think it did also include maybe Betsy Braddock, a.k.a. Psylocke, and her brother, uh, Captain Britain. The Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling is the best-selling book series of all time. The main series of seven books, starting with Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone here in the U.S., and ending with Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows, has sold more than half a billion copies across the world. The book stars Harry Potter as he enters the magical wizarding world of Hogwarts and co-stars his fr close friends Hermione Granger and Ron Weasley. The books have been adapted into eight incredibly successful films and multiple spin-offs. At the height of their popularity, Harry and friends made a cameo in the Marvel Universe. In New Excalibur No. 3 by Chris Claremont, Michael Ryan, Rich Ketchum, Tom Orzakowski, I think that's pronounced, and Peter Pandazis, I think it's pronounced, the super team battles with evil versions of the original X-Men squad. The book opens at, uh, the book opens with an out-of-costume juggernaut running through London, accidentally smashing into buses and cars as he's trying to track down the evil X-Men. By the way, if you're hearing booming noises, that's some idiots outside popping their fireworks. And they've been doing it all day, even in broad daylight, which is frustrating. Maybe they're Canadians. <sighs> After getting told to run down an alley, Kane Marco nearly runs into a group of kids. There's a little there's little doubt the kids are supposed to be Harry, Ron, and Hermione. Okay. Minding Lane to Dunster Court, seething to Pepsi. Hey Sage, how come no cops? I've been busy keeping. I've been keeping them busy. Holy, look out! And as we can see here, there's a kid, a kid with black hair and glasses and a blue shirt, a girl with long curly hair, and a, a redhead kid, a boy with a green sh uh, sweater. And they're coming right out of a. Uh, they're coming right out of a hole in the in a brick wall, which ha, which doesn't seem like it was made by Juggernaut, probably Diagon Alley. And one of them calls out, "Harry, what is what was that? Don't know, but I'm glad it's not after us." <laughs> yeah, I can definitely see that connection there, that little cameo. Claremont and Ryan weren't exactly subtle about the cameo, as Hermione grabs Harry and yells his name as Juggernaut comes bulldozing down the alley. Ron asks, what was that? And yeah, yeah, we already touched upon that. There's little doubt the characters are the wor from the world of Harry Potter. The kids are in London. They look exactly like their movie-slash-book counterparts, and Hermione screamed, Harry, as uh, Marco nearly ran into them. It all essentially confirms they exist in the Marvel Universe. Does that mean that a version of Hogwarts exists within the, within the pages of Mar Marvel stories? Well, technically, Marvel is, has its own magical academy already. But it's fun to think that secretly, Hogwarts also exists. 
The cameo is a fun reference to the world of Harry Potter, which uh, which shows that even on Earth 616, Harry Potter, Hermione Granger, and Ron Weasley are around, even if it's just in a small cameo. Does that mean Voldemort exists in the Marvel Universe too? Well, with that said, I do think it's interesting that, you know, Chris Claremont did make that Harry Potter cameo with Harry, Ron, and Hermione. I will say this, um, there have been many fanfiction crossovers on fanfiction.net and an archive of our own, where basically Harry Potter and Marvel, sometimes Harry Potter and DC, they're, you know, part of a shared universe. Sometimes it's just plucking Harry right out of his own world, planting him in the Marvel Universe, and then pretending the world he originated from, you know, is just a memory. Others do try to actually uh, find a way to make the two coexist in the same universe. I came upon one where uh, basically the, the Wizarding World is kept secret because of, like, the whole Salem Witch Trials thing. And I am, for a fact, going to be doing something like that for my story, of course, because let's face it, the Salem Witch Trials was practically a prejudice against anything magical. So if you're going to deal with a secret magical community, it makes sense that you want to have them be, you know, living in secret with the Salem Witch Trials, even though it was just, you know, one real instance in recent memory. It's interesting, that would be the perfect uh, example as to why they would be secret. Now, do I think that Harry Potter and uh, Marvel should be in the same universe? I honestly think, you know, probably they're probably better off separate. But at the same time, see, I look at it as two ways. On the one side, there's the part of me that thinks, no, they should not be connected. They're their own separate franchises for a reason, and they already both got their problems as it is on their own. The last thing they need is to be messing around with each other's problems. Like, are you really gonna have Harry Potter going off fighting Magneto and in the in in his place you'll have like Doctor Strange fighting Voldemort? That's kinda asking a little too much there. But on the other hand, and funny I show my hand there. <laughs> Um, on the other hand, you can't he you can't help but the kind of wonder these things. You know, how would the Harry Potter universe work within the the Marvel universe? How would the Marvel universe ha uh, fare in the Harry Potter universe? I mean, do uh, did Captain Britain have something to do with Hogwarts? Did uh, Hogwarts have something to do with, say, um, uh, Scarlet Witch and all, and all, and all that? Did they have anything to do with Doctor Strange or the Ancient One? We don't know. Could be. It's it's unknown. All I know is that this was an interesting article to just talk about, you know? And let this be, video be basically the start of the discussion. If you want to talk about it, hit me at, down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, you know, the whole drill. And uh, I'll catch you all next time. And you can bet on that.